real estate out here to race on. But there's definitely two lines. I mean, look at Kyle Busch dead on the bottom and Vickers clearing the top. I mean, nobody in the center of this racetrack. And oh. they meet at the same spot every single time. X in the corner off of turn four right there, guys. With all that momentum, hooks him right back up. The Michigan merge. <laughs> <laughs> the 18 of Kyle Busch says he could be just a little bit better in the center. Jason Ratcliffe made the call for four tires and Sunoco fuel in the 18. Shannon? And Keselowski in the center of your screen, tight. They're going to take four tires and an air pressure. And then you see Brian Vickers on the bottom in that 32. As you guys have been talking about, he is loose. It's going to be four tires, no changes for the 32. All right, I got two tires, but I got them on the 88 car. <laughs> <laughs> He's the wrong pin. Well, I got four tires on that 18. Oh, God, you can see, spins the tires as he's getting ready to do. He can't yeah, get that car. That's the one little, downside. It's a little problem here, too. And NASCAR's got to make a call on that because Brad Keselowski did get to the start-finish line before Allgaier. He did beat him there. But I think in this situation that NASCAR is going to see that, that Justin Allgaier was really spinning his tires and couldn't get up to speed. And Kyle Busch just drove past them. They had, look at that, three and four wide right now. He's coming. He's coming, guys. They made a big adjustment on this car. Wow. Yeah, NASCAR says that the 88 is good on that restart, but you saw the 12 car. He was trying to go as hard as he could, but he just could not get any traction. Vickers hadn't been able to complete this pass, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here Kyle he goes. Came back. Man, look at the back end hung out on that 32. Well, that thing is jumping all over the place, but, you know, it took him a long time before to get wound up, but now he's got – they must have changed their air pressures to get the car going quicker. Look at this battle. Uh-oh, okay. got, got a crash here with Lofton. He spun the car. The 32 car is turning to the right through the corner. I don't get it. Not only does he want to wreck me by sucking me around, but then he's just steering to the right all the way through the corners. I don't get it. There's a look at the nose on the 32 car. He has got so much tape on the grill of that car. Look at that. That's really taped down, guys, farther than I've seen in a long time. And that creates downforce. We all know that. Yeah. Also takes away drag, makes horsepower. But as you know, the higher you raise that engine temperature, the more horsepower you lose. Well, that's a great start by Kyle Busch. Oh, he they anticipated would have with that. Him. He anticipated that start of Vickers very well. See if Vickers gets over on the side of him, like uh, Kyle was talking about, trying to spin him out. Looks like he's giving him plenty of room right here. With seven laps to go, they're gonna have to get it on right now. They're nice run. Really tight. Oh, Look at that. Well, the wall. Coleman looks like he's in the wall on the 20. All right, we got Toyotas up front, and Toyotas never won a uh, nationwide race at this racetrack. I tell you what, guys, if Kyle Busch finishes second again, he's not going to be a happy camper. I can't believe how many second place finishes he's had in the last 10 or 11 starts. It's just been oh, amazing. Well, check out how loose Vickers got right there. Yeah, we haven't seen Busch's last effort here at taking the lead. Now, Vickers' car is extremely loose. He's hanging the back end out. You can breathe the throttle just a little bit, back wide open. Vickers hanging on still. Man. I was holding my breath. <laughs> and that 32's got more downforce in the front for you and than he's had and all day long because of that half. damage. So that could make his car really lose too, guys. And you can see Brian Vickers pull down trying to break that draft where he doesn't have Kyle Busch right there on his bumper. Okay, here we go, guys. He's coming to two to go. See him down below the white oh, line. Look at the back end of that 32 he's step He's just out. dancing. He's holding on to that thing for dear life right now because just like you said, Andy, that back end is jumping all over the place in that 32 car. Hey, my yeah, two tires goes. are coming back. Yeah, Keselowski's coming back here. He's not far back here. He's just going to have to drive it until it blows up, and that's about it because he can't pull in now. Fix an overheating issue. Yeah, oh, whoa, whoa really big time loose. loose. And holds the lead. And there, look at Keselowski. He's got that momentum on the bottom side. This is the spot he'd be looking for here to be three wide. Look at Vickers get down. Well, check out Keselowski, guys. Coming to the high He's side. He's going to have this high side. White flag right, right here. Flag, white flag. Keselowski's right where he needs to be. We're three wide in the turn one. Holy cow. Vickers look can't hold on right there. Vickers look at Keselowski's going to have the advantage off of turn two. It's all about momentum. And 32 can't hold on to it right now. It's just too loose. Who's Kyle Busch going to fall in behind here? The 32 is going to be a lot looser. They think he's going to the high run. side. I'm not sure he's got enough of a run. Look at the 32 with the power there. I cannot I don't think he can hang on. He's loose again. It looks like Keselowski's going to get the momentum off four, guys. And that's going to win him the race right there. It's a drag race down the line. And Brad Keselowski's going to win it. Two tires. <laughs> How about that? How about that move? Wow. All right, boys. No, he did. He did kind of make a little move little contact there. Right there. Yep, that's what you said. Come on, let's see if they're going to fight. I want to see this. <laughs> uh, a little oh, discussion. A few little words here. 
He's like, hey, dude, one of us is going to win. <laughs> Well, we thought Toyota might have a chance to get their first victory here at Michigan, but it uh, didn't happen. Here at Michigan. Oh. oh, here we go. Nothing wrong with controversy. Oh, we need to get the helmets off. I don't He's know, that might be a some smart move on Vickers' part. Yeah, if you're going to punch you, you better leave the helmet on, Andy. I saw somebody grab him. Grab, was it Kyle Busch by the helmet? Yeah, I, remember that. I, think, I think I'd rather have it off. He hung on my right rear quarter panel all the way down the front straightaway and gave the win to the 88 car. He slowed us down so much, he had no idea the 88 car was coming. And uh, the 88 just drove right by both of us on the outside because Brian Vickers was trying to slow both of us down. Just stupid. Uh, if he would have ran his own line up at the top of the track and I would have ran my own line down at the bottom of the track, it could have been a battle between us two. But... Um, Unfortunately, you race with idiots, and um, you know I guess you'll have that sometimes. But I'm sure I'm complaining and uh, I'm whining and I'm a crybaby, but um, it's that's just that's uncalled for. I mean, it's just stupid. I I would have ran my own line instead of giving it to the third place car in order to battle it out between the the top two who deserved the win and deserved to battle the race out at the end. He didn't deserve the win. Oh man, I'm, I tell you, I am so sorry. I forgot it was the Kyle Busch show. Um, I, Hell, I thought we were racing for a win. I, I don't. He came over to the car after the, after we came in and knocked our fender in, which was unnecessary, and then started crying like a little baby. And I asked him if he'd just give me a minute to get out. We could talk about it like men. If he wanted to fight, that's fine with me. And as soon as I got out, he ran off. And and uh, you know, I, I, it's a shame that that uh, that it went down like that. I mean, we were racing hard. I, I thought it was a good race. You know, congratulations, 88. He snuck around both of us. I didn't see him coming. I, I let my guys down. We we you know we should have been able to win this race, but. Last I checked, it wasn't the Kyle Busch uh, show. It, it, was, it was a nationwide race, and I was supposed to race him for the win. Like ripe fruit that will smack you in your ear hole.